In today's tutorial, we are going to learn everything about Lightroom masking. Let's get started. What is Lightroom masking? Lightroom masking is selectively applying edits to specific areas of an image using tools like the adjustment brush or graduated filter, allowing for precise adjustments without affecting the entire photo. There are several types of Lightroom masks. Let's see each one of them. Number one is linear gradient mask. When is the linear gradient mask used for? A linear gradient mask in Lightroom is typically used to apply adjustments gradually across a straight line or linear gradient in the image. For example, using the linear gradient, we can apply adjustments linearly. We can increase or decrease the exposure to make the area look darker or brighter, or increase and decrease the highlights to make the whites pop out or to retain the blown highlights and shadows to make the darker areas brighter. We can also calibrate the saturation to increase or decrease the boldness of the colors or the hue to change the colors of the selected areas. We can also increase or decrease the dehaze to add or remove the mist and fog. Number two is the radial gradient mask. When is the radial gradient mask used? Radial gradient masks in Lightroom enable selective adjustments for effects like vignettes or spotlighting, enhancing image focus and visual impact. For example, select a radial gradient. You can mask a radial gradient where the light is coming from. And decrease the dehaze to get the dreamy, misty look. You can Oslo use radial gradient too. Adjust different areas. You can mask the radial gradient on the subject and decrease or increase the temperature or other settings. Number third is brush. What does brush tool do? The adjustment brush tool lets you selectively apply exposure, clarity, brightness, and other adjustments to photos by painting them onto the photo. For example, we can use this tool to make the eye stand out. Select the brush tool. Paint the eyes with brush tool precisely. Then go to the light adjustments and increase the shadows to make the eye stand out and add clarity to make it clear. The fourth tool is color range mask. What is color range mask tool used for? A color range mask in Lightroom is used to selectively adjust or apply edits to specific colors in an image. Let's see one example. If I wanted to change just the color of the blue sky, I can do that by color range mask and slide the hue and color sliders towards the teals, adjust it accordingly. And here's the before and after. Number five is luminance range mask. What does luminance range mask do? A luminance range mask in Lightroom selectively adjusts or applies edits based on brightness levels in an image, allowing targeted adjustments to specific brightness ranges. Let's see an example. If I wanted to make the sky dreamy, I can do that with luminance mask. Adjust the area that you want to cover with the slider and head towards the light section for further adjustments. Decrease the highlights to bring back the blown areas and decrease the clarity to make it dreamy. Go to the colors tab and add some warmth in the sky and slide the tint towards the greens. Now the last two masks are subject selection mask and sky selection moz. What are they used for? The subject selection and sky selection mask tools in Lightroom are used for making precise selections of specific subjects or objects in images and for isolating and editing the sky separately from the rest of the scene, respectively. Now as we know all of these masking tools, let's edit one photo. Open the photo in Lightroom and go to the Healing tab. Select the Healing brush and adjust its size accordingly. And start painting over all the spots in dust particles. Make sure that you don't overdo it and make it look professional. After you're done healing and when your photo looks clean, head towards the masking section. Tap on the plus icon and select a linear gradient mask to make adjustments for the darker areas. The further you will stretch it, the more feathery it will become. Then go to the light section and decrease the exposure. Decrease the exposure all the way down to make it dark and to give it some contrast. Decrease the shadows too and increase the blacks a little bit. 
Adjust the mask accordingly. Add one more linear gradient mask to make the lower areas more dark. Do the same here too. Decrease in the exposure and shadows and increase the blacks. Then select the radial gradient to make a light source from the other side and to give it some fog and mist. Increase the feather to make the edges smooth and soft. Decrease the dehaze to make it look misty and foggy. Adjust the mask accordingly. Add one more radial gradient to make the highlights pop out. Decrease the dehaze. And increase the highlights. Select a radial gradient mask and mask it over the logo. Decrease the feather as we want the whole selection to be altered and duplicate the selection two times as we'll need those to selection further. Come back to the first selection and increase the shadows, contrast, highlights and whites. And decrease the blacks. Go to the effects section and increase the clarity. Then go to the first duplicated mask and tap on the mask, then tap on subtract and subtract using linear gradient, then from the left side, decrease half of the area. Decrease the shadows and highlights till the dark areas gain some contrast, then go to the second duplicated mask and subtract the right size area using a linear gradient mask. Then decrease the dehaze. Then increase the highlights, shadows, and whites. Then go to the light section and make a S curve. Then go to the color section and tap on shell tab. Select blue and slide it towards dark blue. Go to the details section and increase the sharpening and adjust the slider with two fingers to mask the sharpening correctly. Then go to the color grading tab and increase the saturation of the shadows by 20. Then shift the hue to yellows. Go to the highlights and increase saturation by 20. Shift the hue towards blues. Go to the midtones and increase the saturation by 20. And shift the hue toward greens. Then in the global we'll increase the saturation by 20. And shift the hues toward blues. And we are done. Here's the before and after. If this video helped you, then subscribe to my channel for more tutorials, and do follow me on Instagram. See you soon!